Hey, what's up? I'm gonna show you my Trophius Kirza colony and how I take care of them and what you can expect from Trophius. They're a beautiful fish and they're right here behind me in my 65 gallon. Now I have 10 Trophius Mori Kirza. And uh, sorry for shaking the camera and sorry for the glare in the uh, tank, but it is what it is. So I went with Trophius Kirza because as soon as I saw them, I just fell in love with them. Their colors are beautiful. They're personality is amazing and the reason i went with these over ecola was because ecola i think are in my area at least and i see them quite often so i wanted to get something that was unique and that was going to either going to be the du Bois Z mazwas the malero reds or the kirza which i found i didn't even know about this species until i saw them and i think they're beautiful now trophies get around five to six inches four to six inches i would say and they are pretty hardy like other African cichlids. The thing is people struggle with is transporting them. I certainly have, I've tried to do colonies in the past, but what I found was treating them with uh, parasite meds as they're at, like getting used to your tank for the first week. That really helped them. They got their diet in check. They got their hunger levels checked. Because once your trophies stop eating, it tends to spread quickly and starts to take out a lot of your fish which isn't fun and I've been down that road. So what I feed my trophies are spirulina cobalt flakes and occasionally I'll give them spirulina brine shrimp. Most of their diet is a vegetarian based diet. You wanna make sure that they get vegetables because their digestive tract is made to digest vegetables and not meaty foods and high in protein. And you also wanna fast them for a day out of the week. You can do more. I feed them once a day, you know, a good amount. You can see I fed them earlier and their bellies are still full. So they eat more, like less food is more with these guys. They grow pretty fast. I've had them for about a month or two and they have at least grown a quarter to half an inch since I got them. And one thing, they are very active. They're very different than other African cichlids I've owned. And I've owned a lot of different African cichlids over the six years. And they're very personable. They know when you come up to the tank, but not other than that, their hierarchy really shows in their colors. As you can see, some of the most bright yellow ones that are starting to like become or show their male colors are the most dominant and the most bright colored, as you can see right there. And then the least dominant, most likely the females, uh, like this one up here isn't showing great color, but you can go up like different shades. So I have 10, so it's all gonna be tearing va 10 variations of yellow or, and the difference with the Kirza is that their yellow is more of a yellow orange. I would say it's like a fiery orange, a fiery yellow color, which I think is beautiful. And they're just an all around amazing fish to have and something I think everyone should try. They are a little, when you're getting them you know you have to put some money into medications and stuff and you should always have like metronidazole on hand with these guys just in case a bloat was ever to start so i do leave the algae on the back glass that's because these guys will graze on it throughout the day and they'll go and pick at it right now they're really distracted with me being close to the tank and thinking i'm going to feed them and i also have anubius has to foley on the bottom uh which i think is a beautiful anubius it gets a lot bigger those Leaves are gonna change a lot. Then I have 32 inch tall uh, Lucky Bamboo on the top. I have like 10 of them and they're starting to grow a lot too, which helps take out nitrates from this tank. Something with also a trophy is you have to make sure you have good water quality. That's one of the most important things. And I have auto water changes. Uh, so that little dripper right there drips in one gallon per hour as this little over DOI custom overflow takes it out. So they're constantly getting water changes. I only feed like once a day, small amounts of food. They're a great fish and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So that band on them will get a lot larger and a lot more colorful as they start to age. Tro cichlids in general, as they age and as they grow, they get more beautiful and more colorful. So I can't wait till their color develops and just wanted to say thank you for watching and I will be doing an update on the 110 gallon as also with the 75, once I get more fish for that, and the guppy tank, and the 40 gun, so, and the pond as well. So there's a lot to come, and I hope you stay tuned. Thank you for watching.